was crack lacking YouTube. I had went to the bins three days in a row now, and I have a car that's full of goodies. Now I'm gonna share with you what I got. When I say it's full of goodies, I mean it is full. Three days at the Goodwill bins. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. I just hopped out of the shower. Louie, Louie, you wanna see what we got? You wanna see what we got? Okay, I wanna make this as quick as possible. Like I said in the intro, this is one week's worth of thrifting from the Goodwill bins. I ran a story sale this weekend and I sold like, I don't know, six items. So six items already sold. You miss out on seeing those. Of course, it's always the best items that sell first. So that's a shame. I forgot to film it. This is like three days later. Anyway, uh, recently with teaching, I've been crunched on time. I just have a lot going on with teaching. So I don't have much time to do YouTube videos. So drop a big thumbs up if you're excited to see me again on YouTube. Yeah, because why not? But I want to start doing these just quick rapid fire type of videos just to keep content uploaded on to YouTube and save myself some time. So stuff like this where I just show off kind of what I've been picking up. Uh, if you like vintage, if you like reselling, if you like the modern day treasure hunt, then this is the spot for you. So we'll start it off with all the t-shirts uh, pulled out of the bins. Some of these have like stains, some other signs of wear. Um, bum equipment, be on the lookout for bum equipment. If you have any bum equipment hoodies, DM me. I'm trying to buy them. I'm trying to make a little archive of the bum equipment. But yeah, none of the, these are nothing really to go crazy about. But when you're at the bins shopping, uh, you know, you're only paying, you're paying by weight. So some of these t-shirts weigh less than a pound. Actually, all of these weigh less than a pound. So I'm only paying like 75 cents to a dollar for all of these t-shirts. So you can't really go wrong. Uh, this one I'll show off a little bit. This is pretty cool. It's a big old Nike, Nike t-shirt. Look at this special collection though tag. So... That's something a little different. That was a cool pull. But yeah, I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys. Here's a little Yankees with that Nike center swoosh check going on. If only the t-shirts sold as well as the hoodies do. And then of course, my favorite brand, Tommy Jeans t-shirt. So you gotta love it. You love to, to pull stuff like that. Also, these t-shirts, all of these go into a Ben's box. So I've been doing a thing on Instagram called Bob's Ben's Box. So it is nine vintage t-shirts for $60 shipped. If you want that deal, if you want nine vintage t-shirts for $60 shipped to your door, DM me. I have probably 45, 50 unlisted t-shirts right now. So I'm definitely ready to do some bundle deals. All right, those are all the t-shirts. Let's do the hard goods because out of this last week, I have three hard goods to show you guys. So I got this little stack of cassettes. One of them is sealed, but John Denver, you know, Elvis Presley, Kenny Rogers, nothing crazy, but cassettes actually sell pretty well in my booth. I have an antique booth because I do more than just vintage clothing. I like to pick up a wide variety of stuff when, when I'm out on the hunt, but this one's pretty, this one's sealed. I'll look this one up individually, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a grail. A home run. I try not to pick up mugs anymore, but this mug is definitely too cool to leave behind. Look at the colors on that. It looks like it was like uh, paint by number type of style. So this will just actually stay with me probably. And a book, a Game Boy Advance Zelda guide. I looked these up, they're selling for like 50 bucks. Can you believe that? And check out the t-shirt in the back of here. What if I found the t-shirt? That would have been pretty uh, cool. But yeah, I mean, I paid a buck for this. It looks like it sells for like 50 bucks. Mine's in poor condition, but shoot, you know, honestly, even though I can sell this for 40, 30, 30 bucks, I'll be happy. I have saved all of my receipts from this last week. I spent $3, spent $5 and I'm rounding here. So that's a total of eight plus nine. So that is 17, 17 plus another nine is 26 and then 13. So. 40 bucks. So 40 bucks at the Goodwill Benz. So all, everything you're gonna see in this video, uh, I got for 40 bucks, which is crazy. All right, let's do shoes next. I hate selling shoes. If you guys have been around for a while, you know that I do pick them up though sometimes, you know, shoes are good sellers, they're good store fillers. So if you're getting them for cheap, you might as well pick them up, but I just don't like cleaning shoes, I hate it. But we actually got two pair of Merrells, those Merrells and these Merrells, and then some ladies Harley boots. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh my God. All right, let's do this stack next. My Goodwill bins have been pretty busy recently. There's been a lot of people going in and out of there. So I haven't really 
found much, as I say, with a lap full of stuff. But you know, yeah, nothing too crazy. You know, competition's getting all the good stuff, so I just have all these little filler items. This is a no doubt John 316, like Jesus t-shirt type of thing. Nice little graphic on there. I really don't wanna have to undo all of these and refold them, so I'll just show you guys like the really cool stuff. But here's a hard rock with the peace sign. That's a good one. This one is fancy, I'll, I'll just open this up. Let me know if you know who this girl is without Googling it. Nancy Bounds, I had to Google it, Nancy Bounds, but this is on that great vintage tag and it's long sleeve, it's all single stitch, but she used to be like the head of a modeling agency. So this shirt is, <laughs> this shirt is kind of sick, like a little grayler. Nancy Bounds, Nancy Bounds models. I traded my boy Alexis, shout out Alexis if he's watching this, he's a, he's a fun one to talk to. I traded him a army jacket and pants for this. He wanted the army jacket and pants. <clears throat> so making deals, you gotta be, friendly with the local people it just makes the whole process of reselling and thrifting more fun i hear stories of people on instagram who like fight with the people at their google bins you're just setting yourself up to be miserable if you do that in my opinion uh i had a little lick of vintage champion shorts so we had the plain black ones we had the viking ones and then the kansas city jayhawks who got totally smacked by iowa state yesterday uh, i sold this exact sweater last year during christmas time so i got like 30 bucks for it last year i don't know what it was worth nowadays but i picked it up because yeah because why not here's a cool one i don't like the hawkeyes but it's a cool sweater it's vintage it'll work another simple store filler here i'm a big fan of champion it is definitely sweater weather here in iowa like in the mornings and at night it gets a chile so I've been on like a buying spree, buying myself some new vintage sweaters. This one is super cool. This is on old Puma, Puma sweatshirt. Very thick, very comfortable, very cozy. If you're a Michigan fan, you'll want this one. I'll probably list this around like 40 bucks. Okay, and then we got a Purple Rain. This is not vintage, it is new. But the graphic was too cool to leave behind. I very rarely pick up new age stuff. And this is a torn up Wrangler Pearl Snap button up distressed distressed all right only two stacks left let's go to the jackets next this is a vintage 70s tree bark camo jacket i've sold a lot of these in my um career of reselling this one is special because it has like, like the actual insulated inside it does have the talon zipper on it so that shows you that it's going to be around the 70s or 60s i'm guessing this one's more like 70s but yeah, super cool. I'll probably list this around 50 bucks, 60 bucks maybe. This is funny. This is a Carhartt, a little canvas jacket, you know, something simple, but wait. No, it's not, it's walls. I'm thinking somebody sewed their own Carhartt patch onto that. And then this came in the same sack that I found those women, the women's Harley Davidson boots. You have Harley Davidson water resistant pants windbreaker pants and a big old fancy a fancy matching jacket this thing is super cool so i got the whole set here pulled this out of the bins i'll probably list this set together for like 100 bucks and just see what happens so i'm making like all of my money of the week that i spent back in just one sale if this sells of course you know Hurrah! okay we're almost done we're almost done so I found three pair of these camo. I don't know what really material this is, but these look like brand new. There were three pair. I gave two of them away um, or one of them away. I can't remember to Alexis. Like I said, uh, miss me jeans. I don't like doing women's jeans. I don't like doing jeans at all, but this was like the first thing I found when I walked into the bins and you have to pick up something to start you off. You know what I'm saying? These Nike golf, these are also water resistant. There's a lot of like water resistant stuff at the bins this day, you know what I'm saying? And then the Goodwill that is connected to the Goodwill bins, someone had donated a bunch of vintage blank new tag dead stock Russell Athletic uh, sweats. So I only picked up 10. I have five pair of pants and I have five crew neck sweatshirts, all new with tag. Uh, you can see the colors right here, right? These are the colors. Someone had already been in there, beat me to it. Someone bought all of the small, medium and larges. I've got just a couple larges and a couple XLs. I left all the two XLs. I left all the three XLs. But yeah, I, I bought 10 just to kind of see how they do. But in all honesty, I sell blanks year round. Uh, these are new with tag. I should have just bought them all. But at five bucks a piece, I was being a little stingy. You know what I mean? 
So, and I have plenty of stuff to list. It's not like I needed it. But hey, that's gonna do it. That's one week at the Google Bins. Everything I found, now I gotta get busy. I gotta start listing this stuff up. Uh, keep rocking and rolling, keep doing what you're doing. I'll see you guys on the next one.